Alrighty, PG-13, mature audiences only. And this is G.I. Joe 1986. And we have the 1986 Swampfire and the 1986 Thunder Machine. And the Thunder Machine came with Thrasher. And well, Thrasher, his weapon sucks because it is oversized for his hand. So do not place this weapon into his hand. It most likely will break the thumb off. <laughs> Again, another uh, engineering feat done by the incompetence of testing at Hasbro. <laughs> you think they would test the weapons in the hands to make sure that they don't snap them. But we put uh, a nice little revolver in Thrasher's hand. And this thrasher is nice and tight. So, purely designed out of the 80s. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Just punk rock. Oh. Now, they needed a guy with like spike hair. But, oh. <laughs> oh, well. They didn't make one, I don't think. And we had uh, his. Well, we had also Monkey Wrench. Love Monkey Wrench. He looks cool. And we have Zorana. And over there is Xandar. And the Thunder Machine was an awesome vehicle. I don't know if I have the antenna for it. But we'll take a quick look at that. And here we go. Oh. The Thunder Machine came with Thrasher. And well, we have another Thrasher over here, so... But this is awesome. The side doors open easily. You know, why didn't they do this with the vamps? Make it a little looser. But, again, every vehicle is designed differently. This does pop off to reveal the inside. And let's just take this off. It comes off fairly easy because with most Hasbro vehicles, we have to assemble them. So that's why the price point on them should have been way cheaper. So you can see, look at that. This is awesome, nice interior. And we have another Zorana in there. It's got a cool engine. <laughs> oh, the Dreadnought Thunder Machine was in the cartoon a lot. It is friggin' awesome. Now, it's all plastic, there's no, uh, mm, Rubber, it does, does have rubber tires. Some vehicles did have rubber tires. It does have some cool guns. You pull the bolts. And it's, you know, <laughs> uh, no gimmicks here. But this is a cool vehicle. This one's missing the stickers, so. Lucky for us, we have another one. <laughs> Actually, I want to get one more of these. But, anyways, it's. This is awesome looking. Should have put that one in the review first. But it is friggin' cool. It does look like it has a nice, what, what do you call that? Trans Am it would have been made from? Mm. <laughs> look how Burt Reynolds, <laughs> they took your car and shafted it up. <laughs> you can fit. Well, you could probably put four, but usually most people put two on each side. So you usually about six six figures. And it only has one mirror. So there is only one mirror on the side. And look at the detail in this. Awesome, like it's like one of those cars that races through the desert with a massive turbo engine on the back. But this is done very nicely. This vehicle is cool. This usually breaks off, so you have to watch for that. But again, this was an awesome vehicle. I did have one when I was a kid. So, I know why I would rather have two. And maybe a third one. <laughs> it does have an antenna that goes in this little port here. So, I don't know if I have the antenna. I might or might not. I probably don't. So, <laughs> but all in all, this is an awesome vehicle to get. Look at that. I think the original Cobra symbol is black. 
not the red one. Might have just stuck that on there myself. I do get some extra decals. And this is friggin' awesome. Like, love the dreadnoughts. They should have been in more of the G.I. Joe cartoons. Don't know what happened in the 90s there. Someone just decided that, uh, Oh, they wanted to screw G.I. Joe over, and, well, that's what happened. Now, there you go. Look at that. Just tone down that lighting just a little bit more here. But, uh, got Serana back there. It is awesome. And during midpoint, that's usually when the uh, YouTube video decides they'll take this shot of the picture, or they'll take another shot. <laughs> oh hate how they choose the images for your video but this actually does rotate oh. <laughs> we just killed Thrasher <laughs> now the swamp fire the swamp fire did not come with the driver you know that's one of the things that uh, GI Joe or Hasbro are cheaping out on like most vehicles or all vehicles should have come with drivers she's pretty cool looking and uh, one thing about Zerana, this is not her review, but she does change color in the sunlight. So I don't know how well she's going to come in clear for the video. But anyways, Zerana's weapon, you kind of might not put it in her hand or not. But from my original collection, that is what I had left over. And I did find my Zepantar, but that's for the video review. <laughs> well, the Swamp Fire was a cool, vi cool dreadnought helicopter. <laughs> and these blades do, like, you know, you can pull them out. And I don't want to break it, but you can pull them out and basically collapse the thing and set it back. A lot of these usually end up breaking. They're not made that well. They're not made to last, but that's why you usually get two. That's why I got a second one because, you know, these end up snapping off here. Very brittle. Uh, the, even the whole helicopter rotor ends up breaking and snapping off because of just how it was designed. This easily comes off, so it might be lost. Another thing that it gets broken is this. So you might have to get a two or three of these just to get a complete one. And I think it might actually float on water. So th this is a pretty cool helicopter though. Wish they just designed it a little bit better. <laughs> and we're just gonna put her back in here. She keeps getting knocked over. Now, look at that. There was four dreadnoughts made for this year. Xander, or Xander, or Xandar. <laughs> oh, I think it's Xander. This little propeller in the back does move. Little rotor blade for stabilizing. <laughs> and this is like a, you know, skim across the swamp. These do fold up. So I don't know if I want to keep pulling them up and down. It, you know, might end up breaking them off. And it does have some cool little decals on it. Oh, there goes Monkey Ranch's head. <laughs> Uh, I did order some German helmets from Marauders so we can make some racist bikers. <laughs> oh, That's gonna be hilarious. Uh, we got some we got some German helmets coming for you guys. <laughs> Anyways, probably take two or three weeks before we see those, but it should be pretty very funny. Uh, so uh, anyways. These vehicles I did did enjoy. I did have both of these as a kid. And like I said, these break. I played with my child. <laughs> Probably the helicopter blade broke off. So It is cool. But again, they got starting to come out with a neon. But the dreadnought colors were that. Now, there are other dreadnought vehicles. And I don't know how well it'll come in. But there's the dreadnought assault vehicle. And each of these will probably go for well, a couple hundred American. That would be like four or five hundred dollars Canadian. It all depends on how much someone wants to rip you off. But you can see the other dreadnought vehicles. 
So there was six vehicles for this year. I'm surprised. And then there's the Dreadnought uh, Air Assault. And there you go. That'll come in clearly because I did it like that. But you can see I don't have those other two vehicles. They are super pricey. And you know, if Hasbro was really intelligent, they would actually make those for the exclusives, you know? Make the harder ones to get, but allow people a few days to order for sure, instead of just taking a minimum amount of a pre-order. Like, that's just snakes in the grass. Damn you, Hasbro. You're screwing over your fans. Even when you're... <laughs> even when you're trying. <sighs> so the people in corporate Hasbro, you really need to pay attention to what your fans are saying to you. You allow us more time to buy the product. That's what fans want. And you know, maybe people don't even hear about it for weeks after. So not everyone pays attention to what's going on at Hasbro or HasLab. And well, you don't advertise, people are not going to know. But like I said, the whole Hasbro model has just gone to hell. And well, that sucks. So, kind of ruins the collecting. Like, <laughs> the scalpers buying up everything, effing people right over. <sighs> I still don't know if I'm gonna fork out $100 just to get another Cobra Stinger. <laughs> oh, then again, it still would end up costing that. <laughs> the shipping prices, because Hasbro's inadequate in getting their product to the store. So I hope there's a, something special that happens this year for the O-Ring line, Hasbro. Or you're going to lead to more disappointment of your fans. Anyways, I love 1986 vehicles. But again, just the design and the incompetence. Like, even on the Thunder Machine, this will end up breaking off. So, it's hard to find one of these intact, but they're not too expensive. And you might be looking at 50 American, maybe in between 50 to 70, who knows. But everything keeps going up in price, so if you wait too long with G.I. Joe, it's the opposite of Star Wars. Things just keep going up and up. <laughs> and I did order 1985 Satan, even though, oh yes, that's another thing. Get a Black Major, go to Black Major Customs. I think it was even the... What was that? The, the Crimson Guards, something Enterprise. I ordered right from the from that site on eBay, and they only had six left. So if you want to get Satan, there's only six left. <laughs> if you want to get a 1985 Red Ninja Satan, oh, well, Black Major D Customs are awesome. I do have a few, and I do recommend you get some. So, anyways, we do have three more vehicles to review for this year, and then we will look at the play sets. We have the uh, Serpentor's Air Chariot, and we have the Devil Fish, speaking of the Devil. And we have the LCV Recon Sled, this low crawl vehicle. <laughs> Just cheesy how they make those acronyms. Anyways, thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and share the videos with others. And I can't wait to make these into racist bikers. We got two racist Joes. <laughs> now we need some racist bikers. <laughs> Just to make this collection even more fun. Oh, anyways, I hope you enjoy the videos. And keep on collecting. And remember, this is freaking awesome. If anyone wants to donate any of those rare vehicles to me, please do. I need some. Because I have no idea where to find them. <laughs> oh, and they're probably way too much for me.